Dozens of wildfires continue to rage in at least 10 western states. A fire near Santa Barbara, California destroyed at least 50 buildings. And now the company that owns the world's largest firefighting plane claims federal officials are keeping it grounded, putting homes at risk. Here's Mireya Villarreal. Firefighters are using every tool, waging war on the Whittier fire just north of Santa Barbara, California. There's a lot of variability, a lot of uncertainty, but you're going to be in another firefight today. After more than a week, this wildfire is still going strong, consuming more than 18,000 acres of land. Newly released dash cam video shows crews trying to reach a group of trapped campers blocked by a wall of fire. Friday night, the flames exploded again, forcing more people to leave their homes. So now it's rush, rush, unpack the house because I don't know if it's going to be here when I get back. The body of the blaze has stayed hidden in the hills of the Santa Ynez Mountains, making it difficult for firefighters on the ground to get up close. They've relied on a fleet of 16 helicopters and four fixed-wing planes to make airdrops along the rugged terrain. The largest is a DC-10 that can douse flames with up to 12,000 gallons of fire suppressant. But sitting at an airport is the super tanker, capable of dumping more than 19,000 gallons of liquid at a time. The Boeing 747 was converted from a passenger plane into a firefighting tool that's been used in Israel and Chile. In a proposed contract, the U.S. Forest Service would limit firefighting aircraft to 5,000 gallons of suppressant, leaving global super tankers powerhouse plane grounded for now. The global super tanker did have permission to work in the U.S. on an interim permit, but that recently expired right before the start of wildfire season. Elaine, the company is now filing a protest with the U.S. Forest Service. Mireya Villarreal, thanks.